dinner time? Well, welcome back to Living Well with Dr. Judith Cornelli. So I have a couple of followers on Instagram and in my stories, I asked, what did they want to see me make on this YouTube channel? And many people said they wanted to see vegan dinners that were simple and everyone would enjoy. And that is why today we will be making not one, but two easy vegan dishes that your families will enjoy for dinner. Now, we will be starting off with sweet potato Thai curry, which has a little bit of fat, but has lots of nutrients, protein, and it is just so full of flavor. My son gave it a two thumbs up. Whenever I cook something in the home, I ask him, is it good? And he either goes like this or he goes like this. And I got this with two pumps. And we will also be making lentil meatballs. Now, whether it's lentil meatballs, meatballs, I don't know. The internet is always up in arms in terms of how you name certain vegan dishes. The only thing that I know for sure is that these lentil meatballs taste great. And we will be pairing it with sauteed kale and quinoa. So that means more veggies, more nutrients, and more protein. I'm excited to get started on these dishes. But before we do so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get this dinner served, guys. The anchor of this dish are sweet potatoes, which are complex carbs, and they provide lots of vitamins, nutrients, as well as fiber. When you think about sweet potatoes, you actually get more than 100% of your daily need of vitamin A from one sweet potato alone. This dish also includes kale, which is a superfood, and chickpeas, which will help to provide additional fiber and protein. When I discuss a dish with you guys, oftentimes I'm saying it has this vitamin, it has this nutrient, and the reason that I am so focused on this is because the food you eat truly nourishes your mind, your body, and your soul. Living well takes effort and you have to be intentional about the food that you consume on a daily basis. After preparing the components, in a skillet, add your onions, shallot, ginger, followed by your garlic. The smell of this combo is simply divine. Then add your peppers. I like using all three colors, but you don't have to. I just happen to have all of these in my refrigerator. A must for this dish is your red curry paste. And make sure you don't pick up chili paste like I did the other day. Man, I was so mad that I had to go back to the store for just one thing. Of course, I was on the phone with my sister, so I got distracted. We literally can talk on the phone for hours. This dish is complex when it comes to the flavors because the addition of the coconut milk as well as your cocoa aminos and your brown sugar adds layers of richness from the milk and you also get salty and sweet. It tastes really great. And then on top of that, you're adding sweet potatoes and chickpeas. This is such a comforting dish. And when it comes to veggies, even though I add kale, you can add whatever you have in your pantry. That's the best thing about cooking. You can definitely make it your own. When I think about a family dinner night, I think about a dish that's simple, but delicious, and will provide my family with many nutritional benefits, such as this red Thai curry. You can pair it with rice, or you can omit the rice and eat it with whatever you want. Now it's time to make the lentil neat balls which are packed with protein and nutrients and I use mushrooms as well as an egg replacer to act as a binder. This egg replacer is pretty simple to use. You just combine it with water and allow it to sit so that way it can thicken. If you're not a fan of mushrooms, don't worry. You will still like these lentil neat balls because my sister hates mushrooms and this is actually one of the things that she loves <laughs> when I make. She's always like, can you make them for me please? Can you make them for me please? And I recently hosted a dinner for her and of course I had to make this and she was super happy. 
Now, you're basically adding all of the ingredients to a food processor, including the egg replacer, which has now thickened. The key to making these meatballs successful is to ensure when you cook your mushrooms and saute it with your garlic and onions, you allow all that water to be drawn out. And also when you cook your lentils, they should not be too soft. If they are too soft and mushy, when you combine everything in the food processor, you will not get this beautiful consistency, which it should stick together slightly, but also not too, too soft. Once you remove the neat balls from the food processor, you want to roll them into balls using lightly greased hands or gloves. You will get about six to eight neat balls depending upon how big you roll them. These look so good and you will put them in the oven and then you will get this golden brown goodness once they have baked. You can enjoy the meat balls on their own, but this isn't meat so I do like to have it with some sauce just so that way it's not too dry or dip it in barbecue sauce, honey mustard. Today we're having it with some saute kale and quinoa. Together, this is a very well-balanced meal. Like I said before, living well includes eating well. In addition to that, you will see on my Instagram page, I focus a lot on providing others with words of encouragement because the things that consume our thoughts and the way we think of ourselves affects our overall well-being. I hope you enjoyed the two dinners that we made today. In the comment section below, let me know which one was your favorite. And don't forget to create the life you want for yourself one step at a time.